explain a little. This is the police. I apologize. I have not had the energy to stream a whole lot lately. Um, I might more in the coming weeks. I've just been busy and frankly just a little worn out. But, you know, I, uh, I am, I'm committed. I'm committed to finishing this, this at this point, even though I think I'm only, like, halfway through the game. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. How many episodes? I've, I think this, this one will be my eighth. So, like, you know, 16 episodes, that's not too bad, right? Um, I know I initially said I was gonna do the, uh, the second game, but I have a feeling, um... Oh, I have a feeling eight episodes from now I'm not going to want to do that. But I got to stop starting these off with rambly quality of life updates. I promised I'd stop doing that because, you know, it, it, it's not very efficient, frankly. Because uh, there's really no one on the, uh, on the stream at this point. Let's see what we got. Bigfoot Athletic Shoe Store organizes charity marathon. Municipal public toilets need major repairs. So true. Number of buses increased on all routes. Let's see what Robespierre's got for us today. There's no such thing as free lunch. Conservative. Uh, there's a new movie opening today starring my favorite actor. Can you let me off so I can go? No. I'm too tired, I can let you go Can I go home? No. My kid's causing trouble again, and they've called me into a school. Can you give me some time to deal with this? Yes, but coming tomorrow. Ooh, I get to promote somebody. Uh, what do you guys think? Is it time to promote Homelander? The Nordic uh, fucking nonce himself? Or, or is it King Kingston's a little bit... I think Kingston and Nordlander are pretty much... They've been on the force for the same amount of time. Gay has already been promoted. Um, Millsap and Kodu have already been promoted. So I feel like it's gotta be one of these two. Because McGillicuddy is... McGillicuddy and Mixon are too new. And I feel like we've, uh, we've promoted our two detectives that have actually been on the force for a long enough period of time, you know? Um... <laughs> I could promote Clortho. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that. Uh, I don't think Clortho is deserving of a promotion. I. Uh, I think that. I think that Nordlander, good old, good old Homelander, has actually done a pretty good job. I think I'm going to promote him. Look at that. All right. Let's let's start the day right with some. Uh, I don't know. For whatever reason, my brain thinks Rumpelstiltskin when I see that. I have no idea why. Like, other than, I guess, the, the weaving angle, maybe? That he's got, like, the, the string? I'm not sure. Mental illness. What do we got going on at City Hall today? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll grab a... I'll, I'll ask for everything but a detective. I think we're okay on detectives. Armed robbery at Blitz Cafe. Four men flagged down a truck outside a diner and then pulled the truck's driver out of the cab. The diner's cook called it in. Now they're searching the truck, and one of the men is carrying an axe. All right. I think this is a job for... Kingston, Kodu, and... Feinberg. Yeah. chat. Welcome to the stream. Extortion at Freeburg High School. We have received a complaint from some students who say their new physical education teacher is extorting money for them for grades. Sam. We'll send Millsap, Roth, and Mixon. Armed robbery needs backup. I will send Gay out to uh, fucking Dick Ranch out here. Dick Ranch. Yeah. 
Yeah, I just, I have not been in the mood to stream. I apologize, I know I'm... Whoa. Jeez, I have like three pop-ups there. It's fucking EU4. Um, the police arrive at the gym during recess, and the gym teacher spots them and tries to escape, but the other exit is chained shut. The windows are secured with thick, with stick, thick steel screens. God, but it's hard to say. Um, get out the handcuffs, fire some shots into the air. I think we're going to get out the handcuffs. In a panic, the teacher quickly climbs up the rope to the ceiling of the gym. Light the rope on fire. Um, I can wait. My shift just started. Yeah, like, what's he going to do? Like, break through the ceiling? Yeah, just wait for him to come down. Light the rope on fire. Figure that one out. All right. Um, unlawful assembly at City Hall. Drivers gathered at City Hall at the City Hall parking lot protesting against the recent increase in vehicle tax. According to one eyewitness, they set fire to several tires, but otherwise they're behaving fairly well. I mean, I don't know if that's like entirely a peaceful protest at that point, but I'll, uh, I'll send out the big guns and McGillicuddy. Jeez, maybe I do need more officers. I think we're gonna get some people back in time to send send something out to at least one of these. Yeah, these guys got this one on lock. Sent Gay as backup. I knew they were they were gonna figure it out. Get some people back for this one. Well, I don't really have. Is somebody going to be dead or something? I don't know. They they got it under control. Well done. Well done, Chief. All right. Assault at St. John's Cathedral. An elderly homeless man was found urinating on the wall of a cathedral. One of the parishioners who found out grew furious. Uh, he, knew the, uh, he threw the old man to the ground and beat the bottoms of his feet, shouting, You're an animal. You don't deserve to walk on this earth. Or walk on his earth. Ah, the Almighty. All right. I wish I could send God God Bomber, but uh, he's on the other. He's on shift B. That would be a perfect application of God Bomber. I am in the mood to bomb some gods. Uh, in Minecraft, of course. All right. Suspicious individual in the suburbs. A man called in an emergency, whispering hysterically. Whispering hysterically. <laughs> Uh, he said, uh, he's sitting in the kitchen, and Mephistopheles? Mephistopheles is coming over for a drink. It's the goddamn devil. Come get him. I'm not familiar with that term for the devil, admittedly. My, uh, my lack of, um, knowledge concerning religion is showing. Uh, I'm gonna send Kingston and Feinberg. No, I didn't intend to just send them. It is time. Welcome, Bell. How are you? Armed robbery at city center. Oh, I've got ugh, sleep in here. Um, Tony Bingham, a broker, spoke quickly on the phone. I just brushed up against some asshole in a blue baseball cap on the street. He came up behind me, jabbed me in the back with a gun, and took my wallet, my watch, and my gold ring. While I was looking for a payphone to call the police, I saw him again. He's ten yards away. I'm looking right at him. What is he? Is he, like, is he getting off to you, like, calling the police on the payphone? He's just watching you? How does he know who you're calling? <laughs> How do they know where we're going? Uh, that is an, um, that is an underrated... Holy shit! Never hear that on on stream. Come on, pig. I think that's actually the first time I that's happened while I've been on stream. Thank you so much for subbing for a third month. We got a three monther in the chat. Um first ever three month subscriber. Damn. Um thank you, thank you so much, Bill. Actually, I was just that's what I was getting to before I had like a string of like three pop ups before I was gonna I guess mention like I feel a bit bad for, like, I, I think it was, like, a solid week that I, I didn't really stream. I feel a bit bad about that because I, I obviously still have, like, seven actual subscribers that I feel... I feel a little bit beholden to. Like, they, they actually 
either like used their their prime sub or like spent real money on my channel and i feel i feel a little bad like i i really should i really should at least keep keep somewhat consistent while i have some subs you know like i i really shouldn't i shouldn't hang my subs out to dry it's it's poor etiquette to be sure do not fret i appreciate that um don't want to burn out yeah i i have been really worried about me just getting to a point where i don't want to stream anymore that's that's kind of what happened in 2020 although um my period of like sort of streaming um activity in 2020 was a lot shorter i think it was like from august to november maybe so i think i've already got that beat nothing from 2020 counts yeah i mean well, I mean, it is up on my YouTube, if you are interested. I In 2020, I streamed a lot of EU4 and Gmod and uh, Jedi Fallen Order. I cannot wait. I cannot wait uh, for the next the next game in the Jedi Fallen Order series to come out. I that, that will be the first game I have bought on release in, in years. It'll probably be the last game I'll ever buy on release. Um, I was never afraid. Oh, you mean in general? I thought you meant on Twitch. Um, yeah, I uh, I cannot wait to stream uh, Jedi Survivor. Um, when that comes out, I will I will definitely get back into regular streaming because like I am used to streaming that game. Like I have I have background. I am I am experienced in the art of streaming the EA Star Wars games. Uh, you can get ready for my 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 sort of extremely detailed and and um, thought out uh, and thought provoking Star Wars commentary. Oh my God! Even even though I I know like I think you've told me before that you haven't actually watched Star Wars. Um, uh, vandalism. Veteran Daniel Crockett. Uh, it's like I, I read that as Davy Crockett my brain claims that his neighbor a student is constantly taking shits on his front porch um look he's nearly plastered every step this has to stop bro he's just painting your porch chill i'm gonna send um I'm gonna send gay for no reason in particular i have not yeah you know official from the mayor's office will be visiting a bookstore today to present his biography the great big man's business it is necessary to ensure his safety i'm sending my worst officer that's okay bell i i will uh i will try to fill everybody in um if if people are still watching my streams by the time that that game comes out i have never streamed a game on release like, Jedi Fallen Order uh, had come out on consoles a full year before it came out on PC, and obviously I, I had to wait until it was out on PC to stream it. Um, damn, there are a few people on the street. Two of them are wearing baseball caps. One of them, one of them is, is fucking just, just fucking letting, letting one rip here. Um, grab the racial profiling. Um, stalking. Uh, I'm in your walls, I'm in your walls, I'm in your walls. Sees the man in the blue baseball cap. Um, I don't know. Not racial profile. I'm just going to carefully observe both. The suspect strikes a police officer and reaches for his gun. Damn. Um, grab a passerby and use her as a human shield? <laughs> Bro, what? Um, fire warning shot. Shoot him with the taser. I think it's taser time. Taser time! Woo! 99.9% .9 taser win rate. What do we have here? Drunk man confused his regular drinking companion with the devil. Yeah, no surprise there. Average Freeburg citizen. Oh. The port shits were, uh, the, uh, uh, the fault of a couple of stray dogs. I gotta stop reading those false alarm things. There is literally no point in me reading those. I don't know why I read them. Salt at the Foundry. Enraged by the latest wave of cuts at the plant, Adair Ortiz uh, attacked his boss and beat him severely. His co-workers are afraid Mr. Ortiz has really snapped and called the police. One husky iron worker said this, We always had problems with Ada. 
He gets angry a lot, but uh, this time it's different. His eyes are bloodshot, he's growling like a wild beast, and he's about to throw the boss into a vat of molten metal. Damn. This man's rabid. Alright, we got here. I don't know if it allowed me to send SWAT to that. I, uh, I don't think so. Just one guy. One crazy man. What do we have for investigations open? I did not mean to hit that. Oh, we do not have any frames for the abduction. I think the last frame in that abduction was, like, the child milk carton thing. I, I actually watched, uh, I believe it was a Wendigoon video on YouTube about how that program, like, the lost child milk carton program, was, like, completely, like, it didn't work at all. Like, there was only, like, there were only, like, three cases where a missing person was actually found as a result of those portraits being put on those milk cartons. Oh, you love that video? Yeah, it was... Wendigoon, Wendigoon puts, out, puts out some serious content. Some good stuff. Um, but yeah, that... Like, I guess to the other two people uh, watching, yeah, it's... Um, that, that program was apparently a complete farce. Like, it, it didn't work. Like, the thought was sweet... And it, it kind of evolved out of this, like, this good-natured um, sort of biz factory owner or milk factory owner in the Midwest that just decided to slap slap them on the, on the milk cartons or whatever instead of ad using it for ad space and stuff. But, like, it evolved into this, like, sort of way to perpetuate families' sadness and suffering and, and was a minor violation of privacy and um, resulted in a lot of, like, false reports and calls and shit. Just scared the shit out of kids. Yeah, that too. That too. Like, like these milk cartons, like, it wasn't just, like, the big ones that you'd buy in the store. It, at, um, in certain states, those actually made it onto, like, school lunch milk cartons, which which was, like, like, what? Are these, like, eight-year-old kids going to know, like, def with, with absolute certainty that, like, someone the age, that was the age of their classmates, like, when they were abducted is, you know in any way, shape, or form related to, like, the, the abduction, or are they just going to be, like, crying wolf, essentially? Like, oh, oh my god, one of my, one of my classmates. It's, it's little, little Sally, Sally Sue, who's kidnapped back in 1998. It's like, bro, that was, that was 25 years ago. Um, well, I suppose the, it was discontinued in the early 2000s, but you get my, you get the idea. Um, a witness saw several cars in the port surrounded by a dozen armed men. They were unloading something suspicious from a container. All right, I'm going to send Homelander, uh, Kingston, uh, external hard drive, Gay, um, Kodu. Actually, I'm going to send the SWAT team and the Petty Wagon. I hope they ask for backup. All right. Adair Ortiz is standing over a vat of molten metal. He's wearing a protective suit and holding his unconscious boss by the throat, screaming like a wild man. Bring the suspect uh, to his senses with a warning shot. Push the suspect and victim away from the vat. Shoot the suspect. <laughs> um... Is it time to shoot a suspect? Like, I, I feel like... I, I feel like proportional force still applies here. Like, dying in a vat of molten metal is like... That's horrifying. Like, imagine plunging into a vat of molten metal and just the, the excruciating agony that, that goes with that. Whereas, like, sure, a gun a gunshot's gonna hurt, but, like, it's, it's it you know, it's over relatively fast. Um, the shot kills him and he drops his boss into the molten metal. That's what I'm, that's what I was kind of thinking. Can't happen to me, I'm OSHA certified. Oh, yeah. Uh, OSHA certification provides like a like a work safety force field. Also welcome welcome Roggle underscore gamer to the stream. Um, you missed it. Um, Bell Bell is um, the very first three month sub to this channel. Uh, yes, thank you thank you again, Bell. Um, um, I'm gonna try to tr gonna try the push. Wow, that actually worked. <laughs> just just kind of pushed him out of the way. Just a little little push. A 
low. There's no... Things have gone quiet all of a sudden. Oh, here we go. Drug trafficking. Hell on Wheels car dealership. We received an anonymous tip that a local car dealership is being used to smuggle heroin. According to the anonymous source, the drugs are hidden in a spare tire. You'll see. Alright, I am going to wait for backup, actually. Here we go. Alright, we're going to send Vandal. We're going to send Millsap. We're going to send Kodu and Feinberg because they sat the last one out. So, abduction report. Three new frames. Got the, the milk cart. Something tells me that this is not going to be, like, the solution. Yeah, because this doesn't really look like it's in any way related. Unless this is, like, the deadbeat dad or whatever. Yeah, that they're, like, drinking while, while their kids are on the playground. <laughs> Public intoxication and, like, neglecting a child. Okay. So it looks like... What's the difference between, like... Oh, okay. So the girl, like, drops her doll. Like, oh no, drop my doll. Goes to pick it up or whatever. Reaching over to pick it up. Is pulled away. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. The doll is left there as a way to get the child distracted and to bend over. The, ch the, the child is like, oh damn, a doll, I want it, or whatever. Bends over to pick it up. Bam, gets fucking abducted. Um, th definitely like a decoy. It's like those people that like put clothing on like your windshield to get you to like take it off so that they can steal your car or whatever. Um, and uh, the the old woman throws her in the back of this um, this uh, truck and hits a garbage can on the way out. Hell yeah, Judith McCain. Uh, hopefully of some relation to John McCain, um, rot in hell. Uh, this hard-drinking grandmother decided no court has the right to take away her granddaughter. I didn't even read the backstory to that one. I just, bam, just knew. Alright. I'm gonna wait for better cops. Drug trafficking. Are we gonna get some heroin? I could use some heroin right about now. Yes! 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 Heroin time. Um, don't clip that. I'm I'm having the mafia. Heroin. I love opiates. All right. Can we get some good cops in here before the day is out? Yes. Yes. All right. I'm sending Homelander and our our good old pal External SSD and the SWAT. Detective, but yeah, that's why I'm sending the SWAT team. 11, 11. Got it on lock. Ooh, dr more drug trafficking. The phony tip came from some competitors who were hoping to harm the car dealership's reputation. Damn. Damn. I was really hoping I could I could get yet another bundle of heroin to sell for my uh, my crippling addiction. Uh, to money, that is not uh, not heroin. Actually, holy shit, I'm only $80,000 away from my go my my in-game goal. That's pretty that's pretty cool. Yeah. Woo! We actually solved the case properly. Damn, that was a lot of experience. <laughs> pretty much every detective I had worked on that case. Funny number. Yeah, I they got the 420 up there. Yeah. Good catch. 420k moment. True. What we got in the headlines today? Christopher G. Sands Undertale Ice Arena hosts Stalin's Doubles Competition. That's a lot of possessives. Christopher G. Sands, Stalin's... Well, I suppose doubles is not possessive, it's just plural. Um, City Hall cuts prison funding. Stuntman killed filming Bloody Shirt 5. Bloody Shirt 5. I wonder if that was an inadaptation of Claude Ball's bloody underwear. Um, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Thank you, Robespierre. Sounding like one of those fucking, like, motivational robot TikToks. I'm too tired, I can hardly walk straight, can I go home? 
No. Well, that was it. I'm really hoping I get a chance to use God Bomber today. I gotta send him to a religious crime of some kind. Rumple Stiltskin here got us through yesterday. Um, we'll, we'll try that again. Ooh. Yeah! My relationship with City Hall has actually been quite good lately. Um, Shift B, by the looks of it. Okay. George Mitchell looks pretty... He looks okay. He's not super old. Hey, no, I'm too tired. I can let walk straight. Can I go home? Yes, but come in tomorrow. Um, Herbert Matthews Degger. This guy's got a fucking, like, serial killer name. Antonio Lazzarini. Sharon Morris or Scott Hutchison. Who do you guys think I should hire? I think I'm actually, for once, I'm actually liking the look of the top, uh, the, the guy with the most police points here. Because this guy, this guy looks and has the name of a serial killer. The, the people who, like, write their, their full name, including their middle name. It's not a hyphenated last name. That'd be different. Although, I will say, people with hyphenated last names also, they have a different kind of complex, usually. Um, Italian-American. Woman. And, uh... Just some white guy. What? Excuse me? Hmm? Oh, is that in reference to I uh the uh the reason the reason I uh I I uh there's only one woman in the hiring pool. So yes, the uh sh she has been singled out. Uh -huh -huh -huh. I think I'm I think I for once I think George Mitchell might be the way to go. Like what's the hyphen complex? Um oh, I I, I forgot. Like is is your last name do you have a hyphenated last name? Am I, am I like, am I completely forgetting? Hmm, it is. Oh, damn. Well, okay. With, like, um, I remember it at, at my high school. There were, it seemed like everybody with a hyph like hyphenated last names had, like, some kind of, like, they either had people call them by their, like, full names, or everybody just kind of drifted into calling them by their last names, or some derivative. He's running defense right now. Oh, um... Is it? I don't know. I don't think your last name is hyphenated. Isn't it just... Like, I don't want to dox you on stream, so it's kind of... Well, I mean... I don't... I don't... Is it? I don't... <laughs> You're, okay, I don't know. You you texting this is not helping. I can't tell what intonation you're speaking with. <laughs> so it's I don't I don't I don't think it is. I, I I probably forgot. I forgot. I okay. I'm uh whatever. I'm hiring George Mitchell for shift B. Thing, come on now. The punctuation or lack thereof her surname is a, like, thing. Come on now. SMH. I don't, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I'm very... I'm... Okay. I... I am pretty bad with names. Like, I am... I am... It is a frequent problem. Oh, but isn't that, like, the... Sorry, I thought that was, like, the capitalization. You know, that people try to, like, capitalize the second part of your last name? The, the P in your last name? A lot of systems won't let me keep my hyphen. Oh, there is actually a hyphen. No, yeah, I know there's no cap. I know there's no caps. That's what I was saying. I thought that it was typically a problem with caps, but I, I genuinely, I genuinely forgot that your last name was hyphenated. Um, but, um, fuck them colonists. True. No special characters in names. SMH. Yes, true. This is a Puerto Rican name. So rude. Can't believe it. I I genuinely I genuinely forgot. I um I am very I am notoriously bad at names. But I guess to continue to continue my um my nonsensical ramble about the hyphenated names complex, there were um there were a few people that 
they they used it as like an acronym thing that they were like call me by my acronym or either, or or actually no there were a few that that hated that like um uh Rogel will remember um there was somebody I went to high school with called Brandon uh and and his his last name was like a hyphenated uh SK and people called him BSK and I think he hated it I think he fucking hated it come to think of it so maybe all this is horseshit maybe it's all a mismemory Bro, I'm so sleepy mode right now. <laughs> yeah, the real BSK. Yes. Yeah, okay. Thank. I. I'm glad that. I'm glad that you remember this. That I'm not like totally making this up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where this this fucking rant came from or whatever. I still call him that in my head. Yeah, I call. I I called him that, and I'm almost certain that he was in my bio class or whatever. And I called him that out loud once. Like, it, it wasn't just in my head, just hearing people call him that or whatever. And I think he was like, please don't call me that or whatever. Just call me Brandon. And, I like, I, I don't know. It was it was weird. Love using all three. I got it engraved in my chest. In my, I almost heard that as chess ring. Class ring, yes. He works for his mom's real estate firm and posts about the houses he sells on Instagram. Wow. I don't, I don't think I follow... Um, BSK on um, on Instagram. Not that I use Instagram anymore, really. Living big. Yeah, I mean, right now, um, fucking real estate agents make fucking bank. The market still has yet to, like, cool down. Now is a great time to be in real estate. BSK making commission for real, for real. True, true. Making commission on, like, houses. Like, sure, you don't sell that many, but, like, Commissions have to be fucking atmospheric right now due to how how massive the fucking housing market is. Okay, shift B. I've been I've been stalling hiring this guy for shift B. All right, I got a race. Woo, making seventy three bucks per week, baby. Woo. Um, I can improve my SWAT team. Efficiency increased by one hundred percent. Mafia share. For my non-automatic weapon, I'm going to take everything. $73, so true. Yeah, this is Biden's America. Um, speaking of which, um, God, I'm going to go on another fucking rant. Um, we're we're going to get through like three days to um, on this stream. But anyway, I got to I got to I got to share um, my my lunch experience today. I was at Publix getting get my my daily like pub sub. Um, sort of uh, marinating in, in my sort of the existential dread that comes with waiting in line for like 20 minutes. Um, and I get to the fucking counter, right? And the the whole loaves that they have, like the, the ones that you get for like a whole sub as opposed to a half, they're like, I want to say they're like four inches shorter. Like, I, I swear to God, um, shrinkflation has, has fucking claimed another fucking victim, man. It like, the pub sub has has unfortunately uh fallen fallen victim to the the brutality of shrinkflation that prices prices are higher but that that sub just keeps getting shorter and shorter i swear like maybe i'm hoping it was a bad batch but like genuinely i think that they they shrunk them and it's smart how they sell them actually because they don't they they sell them on their menu they don't list the inches for a half and a whole sub they just have it listed as a half and a whole so they can get away with this shit that they can get away with this shit because they don't list it they they do not list the length they list the the fraction or the or the i guess in 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 the case of getting a whole one obviously the the whole but it's it's a conspiracy insidious yes bro is mad i am mad Bro, um, it's the only thing I, I have time to get at uh, Publix because, like, it takes 20 minutes to, like, wait. And, like, regardless of what you're getting it, it's, like, 15, 20-minute wait. Um, it's it's crazy. Um, but that is that is my, uh, my, my pub sub rant today. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely worth it, and I will still show up, like, every other day to get my pub sub. But I'm I'm a little steamed. I'm a little steamed at, at the the probable shrinkflation of my pub sub. Yeah, if if I'm paying if I'm paying like seven bucks for a sub, 
that shit better be a foot long. Like, I, I, I think, like, the, the, I know that the days of the Subway $5 foot long are long behind us at this point, but I don't think a foot for $7 is too much to ask. Like, let's, let's do some simple math here. Let's, let's do some simple math. We got, uh, hmm, hmm. no, sorry, the other way around. I'm stupid. That's, that's like 50, 58, um, 0.3 repeating cents per inch. I, I, I feel like that's not too much to ask, you know? That's pretty reasonable. Dude is pulling up his phone. No, no, I, it, it's worse. I was pulling up, <laughs> I was pulling up my, like, my desktop, like, the little, like, desktop calculator thing. <laughs> you gotta remember the chat monitor is on my phone, so I'd have to, like, tab out on the chat monitor to, uh, to use the calculator on that. But I, I was actually pulling up a calculator. <laughs> but yes, that is 58 cents per inch. That is, I, I think that's, I think that's pretty fucking reasonable, you know? Uh, in the realm of sandwiches, that is. Uh, obviously, if we're talking, if we're talking, like, um, male prostitutes, you know, that's, that's a whole different metric. But you get you get my drift. Malding. I am malding. <laughs> I am I'm, I'm malding a little bit. Yeah. All right. Armed robbery at the the live good mini market. Uh, three drunk women entered the all night store, grabbed a drink of diet coke, um, brand placement, and when the shopkeeper walked into the back room, they climbed behind the counter, grabbed the shotgun, and wounded. Oh, excuse me, the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper's wife, who lives on the second floor, called the police. Yeah, thank you for the, uh, I'm sure you know all, know all about, uh, male prostitutes. Yes, I, I definitely do. It's not as if I've lived in states where prostitution has been my, been strictly illegal my whole life. I have totally hired multiple male prostitutes. Um, that, I know, I know that somebody, somebody's gonna clip that. Whatever. I I think that that would I think that that would be a, a quite class clip, personally. Um, I'm giving the audience what it wants. Uh, details about my personal life. My my um, my uh, I had a really good word there, but it it vanished. My uh, uh, CD. My my there there was a better word there. My uh, I I don't know it it. It's gone. I'm sending people. Sending Purdy, McStone, and Flores. McStone will probably be promoted next. Sorted? Mm. Mm, maybe. I, I, it was, I, I don't know. It's, it's gone. I, my brain's been doing that a lot lately. Suspicious individual at the ghetto. The Black Handsome Barbershop called to report that a man in a hood and sunglasses asked for a haircut so that no one would recognize him. Hairdresser Emmett Brooks suspe suspects that the man may be on the run from the law. He even agreed to dye his hair blonde. There's obviously something wrong. Bro, what's wrong with, what's wrong with being blonde? Um, alright. I'm gonna send Yancey and God Bomber. Man wants to go blonde. He's obviously insane. Everything is wrong with me. This is true. This is true. You would know, Roggle. Um, number one red flag for me, TBH. <laughs> I would. Period. <laughs> yes. Uh, let he who cast the first stone. Uh. Um, the women are having fun, drinking alcohol and throwing food around the store. Having fun. When they see the police, one of them grabs a shotgun and opens fire. Rush into the store through the main entrance. Work around the store and use the back door. Wait until the criminals run out of ammunition. Let's go in the back door. My blonde era. The first 20 years of my life. <laughs> so true. Um, another, th another uh, crime in the ghetto. Carmelo Cohen has been fighting with his 42-year-old mother's 23-year-old boyfriend. Sam! This guy's mom landed a fucking, uh, uh, fuck, what is it when a younger, younger man, 
dates an older woman. I know the older woman is the cougar, but what does that make the younger man? Eh, I'm I'm fucking I'm fucking drawn blanks tonight. Um, a neighbor called the police and said that these people have been at it for a long time, shouting at each other. Mama's a cougar. True, true. Winning. She is winning. Good for her. It's called it's called winning. So true. Then things suddenly went downhill fast. They started fighting, and the son pulled out a gun and opened fire on open fired on the others. The woman woman was shot in the leg, and her boyfriend got at least three shots in the stomach. All right. I'm gonna send Prado, Kendall, Ob, and to hell with it. I'm gonna send Scantron too. Easy XP. Good luck, Scantron. Milfs. True. Although I will say, like, hypothetically speaking, if one of my parents were to date someone that was my age, like, that'd be super fucking awkward. Like, imagine having a step-parent that is, like, your age. Like, what are they, they fucking expect me to call them, like, mom or dad? Like, that's, that's messed up. Scantron gonna be, gonna have my thing die, bro. Yeah, he's, he's really wimpy. Alright. Abduction at the kindergarten. Kindergarten teacher Carolina Cunningham reports that uh, Alatina Vas Vasilieva burst into the nursery, grabbed her son, and tried to run. The school knew she lost custody in the divorce. He took the kids! So security stopped her as she tried to escape through the exit. Now the suspect has locked herself in a room and is demanding the school release her son. A lot of girl bosses uh, being prosecuted today. Oh yeah, Scantron's gonna fucking die. <laughs> Please don't tell me a civilian died. Yeah, we're doing we're doing fine. Girl bosses being prosecuted, so true. Alright. Oh, I forgot about Atticus Corp. Yeah, this is a new new place. We got the ANCAPs on our side now. Um Yeah, if if I go over my five hundred thousand dollar mark, this is what I can spend my extra money on. Like, I definitely, if I ever get investigated again, I'm definitely going to use this. I think this might be a single-use thing, because as you can see, there's not a price tag on it. Um, this, I'm also definitely going to use these two right here. Yeah, safe firing is also kind of cool, and it's pretty cheap. Might use that, too. What happened to the dentist again? Um, no, the dentist got caught? Like, the, the fake... Oh, the real dentist died. The fake dentist we did catch. The girl boss dentist. The dentist was a woman. True. Person doing... The, yes, true. Um, it was not Clortho, sadly. Um, unless Clortho is, like, a ghost. Child abuse. Literally. She did slay. This is true. Children and caregivers are crowding around the floor. Find another entrance to the room. Look at Santa Claus out on the streets. <laughs> what? <laughs> Everyone get away from the door immediately. I'm going to traumatize these kids. Behind the door, the child is yelling and speaks in a murmur. I want my daddy. In the background, there's a... Uh, please don't clip that. There is, there's a sound of someone trying to open a window. Uh-oh. Um... Send in a very sweet and friendly child to negotiate! Bro, what? Yeah, you gotta- gotta- gotta stay vigilant around Clortho. Um, knock on the door. Yeah, let's- let's not make anything worse. She was- she was trying to exit the window. We gotta- we gotta be assertive. Alright. Another- another solid... ...prosecution. Child abuse in the suburbs. An elderly disabled woman watched from her window as a mother struck her son in the face and then began to drown him in the inflatable pool. Hurry, cried the old woman. Send someone in to save the boy. I'm trying to, um, trying to emulate that, like, that, like, that one guy who speaks in, like, within that really weird up-down cadence in, in such a robotic way that he sounds like one of those AI voices. I don't know how to describe it. I, I you guys might not know what I'm... Uh, it's the Bingle, the guy who narrated the Bingleton Coochie Smith meme. Um, I'm so <laughs> day by day, my streams sound more and more schizophrenic. I I swear to God. All right, I'm gonna send the B team in. 
You guys better not fuck this up. I don't know why. This feels like a false alarm. I don't know why. The old woman lost her glasses or something. True. Glad I sent the B-team in. Suspicious individual at Octopus Restaurant. A young waitress reports that a wanted fugitive just entered her restaurant. I don't remember what his name is or what he did, but the TV said he was very, very dangerous. This is probably a false alarm. Maybe the real schizophrenia was the friends we made inside our walls. <laughs> um, the only thing that I befriended in my walls was fiberglass insulation, if you know what I mean. This shit's tasty. You should try it. Ooh, Atticus Corp mission. With a luxurious amount of time to respond. Thank you, Atticus Corp. Hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, if any kids, if anybody under 18 actually watches my streams, which I highly doubt, um, please uh, go uh, to uh, punch the nearest uh, section of drywall in your room and... Um, uh, grab a fistful of the pink stuff uh, behind behind said drywall, and uh, take a little nibble. You should uh, you should try it. It's uh, it's really tasty. It's like cotton candy. Uh, don't actually. That that was uh, that was a little uh, little little top tip for you there. Do not do not eat fiberglass insulation. Nutritious. Welcome, Alley can't spell. Um, yes, welcome, welcome to the stream. Very nutritious. Um, Mr. Boyd, we were able to demolish the park next to the site skyscraper, but now there's another problem. We've begun work at the site and someone's been uh, sneaking in at night and stealing construction materials. Either my guards are deaf or they're in with the thieves. Send over a few of your men, have them cover the perimeter and grab anyone suspicious, but don't take the thieves to the police station. I'll deal with the bastards my way. Sam. I'm from Mindshift, if you forgot. Oh! Is that is that you, uh, Care Bear? <laughs> I, I, think, I think that was your username, Care? Um, yeah, you tuned into one of my Jedi Fallen Order- Yes, I hate that name. <laughs> Sorry, Care. <laughs> Sorry, it's been- Can you believe it's been ten years? Man, I'm streaming ten, ten years after Mindshift. Stop. It has been ten years. Yeah, kind of scary. Kind of scary. Um, the man was Manuel Torreblanca, Latin American soap opera star. The waitress must have seen an advertisement for Mr. Torreblanca's show and mixed it up with the police bulletin about the wanted list. I was a baby. I'm in college now, bruh. Yeah, I, uh, I hear that. I, uh, I am... Now fully graduated, and uh, I work for the government now. Believe it or not, I work for the city of uh, Daytona Beach. Kind of, kind of a cool gig. Um, working like water, water policy, adulting. True, true. I'm trying my best. Trying my best. It's, it's good to, good, good to talk to you again. It, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've talked to anybody from MS. Um, it, like I, I used to like. Um, like promote some of my streams in sort of the discord channel or discord servers that um like former ms staff and stuff use now especially the ones that are still over in europe um no no they they don't have like a an official discord server it's a number of discord servers that i was invited to years years later from the few people that i still talk to from ms it's right now it's pretty much just Dare well, you'd know him as uh, the Glaswegian gamer, Darren, um, and uh, Adam, which who you knew as uh, Mad Adam. I, those are really the only two people from MS that I'm talking to right now. Um, yeah, they, they're they're like I the, the I I don't really know if it, the they're, um, Darren's not even really active anymore. He doesn't. Um, uh, he's taking like a detox from the internet, really. Mad Adam, I'm not sure if I remember. I definitely remember Glass. Uh, Mad Adam was a moderator. Um, uh, I think he's uh, he's British. He's from um, I think he's from like England, like dead dead center England. I could be wrong, but yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. It's it's 
really, really cool to uh, to see you. And uh, I guess any any other life updates? Like I I think th you last tuned in. Um, I I was actually streaming Jedi Fallen Order still when when I think you last tuned in um, back in 2020. I I guess I'm kind of in a, a second second wind streaming wise. You froze? Oh, never mind. Yeah, my my internet might be cutting out. I've been trying to solve buffering issues, but yeah. Attempted murder at Desire Park. A stone voice shouted into the emergency line that some guy with a top hat was going to saw a woman in half at the park. The animal has no limits. He's going to kill the poor girl. He was chanting to a crowd of crazies who gathered around to watch. It's like some kind of sacrifice. Please send every cop you can. All right, first, first of all... Oh no, I actually have to... I actually have to send somebody to this. I almost just fucked that up. Um... I'm going to send Yancey, McStone, Kendall, Godbomber. What do we got going on here? Oh, damn, another massive fight. 2020, I was still in high school, so I guess I graduated high school and I'm in college now. But that's really it. Damn. Yeah. A lot has, a lot has changed. Um... Yeah, it, it's it's, uh, I it does not feel like 2023. I don't I don't like the fact that there are people born that were born in like 2013 that are like nine and ten years old now. That they're like, there are people that were born when I was still like a a, a moderator on MS that are like just now that are gaining sentience. You know that they're like they're going out into the world and like being, you know, individualistic people separate from their parents terrifying absolutely ter this is what i'm saying like i i did it, it, it's bizarre don't know if i like it but i definitely don't like it 9 11 in progress 9 11 i'm gonna try not to send pareto if i can help it mafia assignment we have something going down today at lucifer in the sky with lizards club at uh 11 o'clock wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. I think 3,500 should uh, be enough for such a request. Yeah, I will I will ditch the... All right, these guys are coming back, which is good. We actually caught that piece of crap using their kid. Scheduled performance by the famous magician Lorenzo Trentino. Hmm. Well, that kind of sucks, because I am in desperate need of some manpower here. Um, here's the beach fight. Um, Alright, I'm gonna send Prado, McStone, and God Bomber. Because it's it's a fight. Yeah, this this one isn't as serious. It's a theft. Alright. Pavel Holub said that he paid a girl to spend the night with him last night, but in the morning or in the morning he said goodbye to her, but later when he went to the closet he found some jewelry worth three thousand dollars had disappeared. Mr. Holub is prepared to show the police where the girl can usually be found. Alright. It's funny, we were talking about uh male prostitution earlier in the stream. Uh I support sex workers. Ooh, I got a my Atticus Corp bribe. That's cool. All right. Oh, I forgot that the Atticus Corp team are they're just done for the day now, I think. Oh no, maybe they're not. Oh, I found some jewelry. That's nice. Selling it to the mafia. Here we go. What? Oh, come on! I clicked that! There was even a sound! Oh, maybe that was the Lucifer in the Sky, or with Diamond's nightclub anyway. Oh, well, I accidentally um, did the Mafia's bidding. Um, which, I'm, I'm, I'm playing this, uh, for, for those of which who have not tuned in to my This is the Police streams in the past, that, is, that has been kind of the, uh, the main goal of my, uh, of my playthrough this time around to be an absolute mafia plug. All right. I don't know why any of my detectives are like exhausted. Um, I think it's been a day now that they just haven't had anything to do. I have no open investigations. 
Nudists demand private beach in city. Homelessness increased by 13%, and juvenile vandals forced to clean graffiti. Alright, what do we have from Robespierre? Don't catch your chickens before they hatch again. Alright. Hmm. Wow, five people. I think this is actually the most people I've ever had for a This is the Police stream. These are doing, doing a little bit better tonight. I'm too tired, I can only walk straight. Can I go home? No. Wow, only one today. Not bad, not bad. I must be, um, I must be dividing my, uh, my work better. I don't think we've ever actually listened to this one. Whiskey tinged. Um, got some, like, uh, two guys thinking about spaghetti and meatballs by the looks of it. There we go. Sp or spaghetti and, like, flex of marinara. What are we doing time-wise? Oh, we're only an hour in. That's not bad. Alice Crosby flunked all their exams and brought dishonor to the badge. Wow. Matthew Hollinger flunked all, flunked all their exams and brought dishonor to the badge. Wow. I think we've only had one cop actually pass the academy. According to recent reports, the an office employee came to work earlier than usual and heard gunshots and screams coming up from the roof. I always uh, work on the top floor and I've never noticed anything like this before. Sam. Alright, we've got SWAT, Paddy Wagon, we're gonna send Kingston, Gay, Kodu. We'll throw a Nordlander in there, or a Homelander in there just in case. I'm going to send some, some people off to the academy. I, I'm, like, I'm literally $50,000 away from my, my goal. I can afford this. All right. Actually, I'm going to send my two... Oh, it's, this is, like, one per. Okay. I'll send McGillicuddy in, then. And I will send, um, Mixon in. All right. And then uh, my next shift, I'll send the uh, the other two lowest, so that I don't have labor shortages. Uh, unlawful assembly. Abortion opponents have blockaded a women's clinic. They're acting very aggressively, uh, shouting abortion is murder, abortion is sin. No one dares approach. And the doctors and nurses are afraid to leave the building. Damn, there have been a lot of, like, a lot of unfortunate clippable moments in this stream. <laughs> A lot of stuff that I that I said that could very easily be taken out of context because I'm I'm just straight up reading the game. Anyway. <laughs> hmm. Too many clippable moments. Shooting. Turns out the roof is being used for um for the final skyscraper scene in the action movie Bloody Shirt Five, Johnny's new look. Somebody just died in that. Like uh, one of the newspaper headlines the other day was like extra dies in in Bloody Shirt filming. Like, are you sure that that's not what was going on up there? All right, Mr. Boyd, my foreign cooks have really gotten out of hand. They've started spitting in the food and putting all sorts of strange things in. Like it's some kind of joke. Uh, it wouldn't matter, except several visitors began to notice that they're eating foreign objects, and they started to complain. I started... I, I tried to talk to the staff, and they tr they nod and agree, but then some just continue to wreak havoc. Uh, send a couple of your men here. Maybe intimidate them with jail time or deportion. Damn. But make sure the threats just stay threats. I can't afford to be without cooks for even one day. Average anarcho-capitalist. Oh, damn. Did my stream just end? Bro, what the hell's going on here? Why does it say that I have 11 viewers? Am I... am I live? Yeah, I'm live. Do I have 11... Damn. I have 11 viewers! Damn! Welcome to the stream, everybody! I... sorry, I, I've just had a problem with my chat monitor. Give me... give me one... one second. I am having some... Minor technical difficulties. There we go. Hello? What the hell's going on with my chat monitor? Are my widgets just fucking having a conniption? Or do I actually have 11 viewers right now? There we go. Is, is my chat monitor working? 
Stream out for a few seconds about a minute ago. You're good now. Appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate the uh, the chat mod update. Uh, but yeah, I guess I guess that that eleven viewers uh, total is accurate. That's interesting. Yeah, welcome to this is the police. I can't say I've ever had uh, this high viewership in here. Earning my paycheck. So true. Oh, it's gone back down to four. Damn. Did I did I get like? Was I? I, I wonder if like. I wonder if I got like raided or something in it and it like crashed my stream or something because I'm my viewer count is back down to where it was before that little hiccup in my stream. I doubt it. I don't I don't think I don't think anything actually happened, but that'd be funny. Um, reckless endangerment. A group of pranksters have been tossing purses on the sidewalk tied to a thin thread. They pull the thread attached to the person, lure curious passerbys into a dumpster in the alley. This is not the first complaint we've gotten about these pranksters. Ooh, spelling error. Look at that. It's, uh, they, they, this is, this is not the f first complaint we're gotten about these pranksters. I think that's the first, that's the first, like, grammatical slash spelling th thing that I've seen so far in this whole game. I've done a lot of, like, for, for a Twitch stream, I do, I do a lot of reading. Um, the, uh, the other day, one of the victims was so scared uh, when they uh, tossed her in the dustbin, she lost consciousness and still hasn't recovered. All right, I'm going to send Homelander and Gay. Get 'em, boys! Fraud in the ghetto. A man who wished to remain anonymous told us the address of another man who was engaged in the production of the sale of fake documents and certificates. Um. These guys' prices skyrocketed, and the quality is just as bad as before. Are you admitting to uh, purchasing counterfeit documents? I just re I just thought um, it it just as easily could have been my um, my uh, like my widgets here. like falling apart. I'm gonna have to check the stream summary after this. That was bizarre. There's a $100 bill on the street, and a few teenagers in the alley are poking their heads out from around the corner. Um, chase the money. Dive into the alley, quietly enter the alley from the other side, yeah. Damn, did that with only two cops. Not bad, not bad. Nancy French. Sir Oh Did you guys hear that? There was like a there was like a glug sound. I don't think I've I don't think I had ever heard that on one of these uh these missions. Gulp. Sir, we showed some initiative and knocked around the clever immigrant with our nightsticks a bit. Uh, we fucked with the rest of them for about a half hour. Then they got with the program. They won't be monkeying in the food anymore. Miss French was so thankful she served us up some crab salad with some sake. Not even our families take care of us like that. God, you two are delinquents. Do you really have to drink on the job? Weird gulping sound, <laughs> yeah. Oh, ooh. All right. Theft at the Atticus Tower. A seller at a gift shop noticed a brightly dressed Mexican woman stuffing a statue of the Freeburg Monument into her bag. She then kept on shopping and tr trying things on, so I followed her. She paid for everything in cash except the figurine. I asked the security guard to stop her, but some big guy stepped in and the thief escaped. I don't actually have anybody to send at the moment. Now I do. I'm gonna send Gay. Yeah, of course he doesn't want to go alone. I don't know, this um this Homelander gay combo. It's been working quite a bit. It's quite telling. Looks like we have a situation here. There is that scene in the boys where like Homelander has like um I don't I don't think he straight up like has sex with him, but there he has a sexual encounter with the shape shifting guy that he pays him off to like shape shift into like the, the older women that he, he's interested in. Gay Homelander. Yeah, it's true. Gay Homelander, somewhat confirmed. I let out a super loud burp right after you went. Did you guys hear that? I freaked out for a second. I thought you heard me. <laughs> yeah, um, Joe burped uh, from across the country, and I heard him. Good one, Joe. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> 
No one responds to the knock at the door, so the police knock it down and enter the apartment. A man wearing glasses pops out of the room and presents his federal agent ID. Salute the man and continue to search apartments. Knock the document out of its hands and put him in cuffs. Inspect the ID. I think it's gotta inspect the ID. Yeah, fake ID. That's literally what he what he did. That was his that was his shtick. Document forgery. There are federal agents outside my house. Bro is not a fa an FBI agent. Reckless endangerment in the suburbs. Leroy Everett noticed two apparently smoke-filled teenagers sitting on the side of the road taking turns playing Russian roulette. Alright, I'm going to send Vandal. I'm going to send Millsap. I'm going to send Dr. Feinberg. And um, former U uh, Wisconsin Senator Roger Roth. He might have been a representative, but I know he was a, uh, a politician from Wisconsin. There's some the local shop. And just... Oh, look, another spelling error. She was collecting souvenirs in the local shops and just forget the statuette in the bag. And just forgot the statuette in the bag. I couldn't fit everything in my hands, apologize, Elena. The seller didn't recognize her. I don't listen to pop music, but she accepted an autograph from the singer anyway. She for gore. Yeah, we let her go because she's a pop star. Skull emoji. A hostage situation with a fatal casualty. A passerby saw a masked gunman flee a bank carrying some big bags and run into an apartment building, which I suppose works, but... Mm. It looked to me like one of the robbers was wounded. All right. Morris, Kingston, Kodu, Mixon, and McGillicuddy. I swear to God, if either of these people, e either of these guys dies in a drunk driving accident, I'm going to be fucking pissed. God damn it! <laughs> I called it! I fucking called it! Woman drinks single single bottle of sake. Dies dies in a car accident. <laughs> Barbara Mixon was killed in a car accident. According to the preliminary report, she appear it appears she was drunk. Um, that is like super fucking ironic because her name is literally fucking Mixon. Like, bro wasn't measuring. God damn! What? Holy shit! What? What? Come on, guys! Didn't even catch the guy? She was boozing, your honor. Is that such a crime? Yeah, what the hell just happened? Was I not paying attention to something? I just lost like a third of this shift! Gotta be the worst call in history. One officer died on the way, two died at the scene. A 300% fatality rate. Three cops fucking died. Suspicious individual at the suburbs. Naomi Rutherford was gravely concerned that the city is being invaded by communists. Um, I saw right outside my window a whole family wearing red tracksuits with the letters USSR written on them. I haven't seen anyone holding their hand... Um, Hammer and sickle, not yet anyway, but I know it in my heart. It's just like the past 200 years. We've shed blood, sweat, and tears for this democracy of ours, and we won't just give it over to these commies without a fight. I say let them come at us with everything they've got. God, I I really, I genuinely, genuinely am, am concerned as to as to the, cl the amount of clippable material I am I'm just giving away in this episode. The doorman is lying unconscious on the floor. The elevator isn't working, and there's traces of blood on the steps. You have nowhere to run. Come out with your hands up. Shake the doorman awake and interrogate him? <laughs> Bro, what? Follow a trail of blood? I'm just gonna... Somewhere near the top of the stairs, a woman screams, and there's gunshots. The doorman starts to come around. Oh, he is alive. He was, like, fucking bleeding. Um... Interrogate the doorman. There's a corpse of a woman in a robe lying on the staircase the criminals have holed up in the apartment. Throw stun grenades? I assume, like, flashbangs. 
Woo! Flashbangs for the win. I found some money as well. That's cool. Got to do some, like... I got to sell the money. Launder the money. I can't believe... I can't believe three of them fucking died. That means I'm going to have to send three police officers to the academy and shift, shift B tomorrow. All right, Naomi Ruff. Oh, yeah, this is this woman again. Are you going to be afraid of the communists? Yeah, of course you are. I'm not I'm not sending anyone to this call. Even if they are communists, it's like it's technically protected. There was not a corpse. Yeah, that's OK. That's what I what I hate about this game, that like it, it they never accurately report like civilian casualties. Like I'd like a detailed layout. Give me a give me a better idea. Give me some statistics. I want you to turn these people into numbers. Y you know what they say, or I say they. Uh, by they, I mean Stalin. That, um, uh, well, it's frequently attributed to Scott Stalin. I don't know if he actually said it, but, like, a uh, single, single death is a tragedy. Um, a multitude is a statistic or something like that. It's, it's, it's akin to that. It's a quote that's often attributed to Stalin, but some, something in me doubts that he actually said that or wrote that. Um, a few girls got in a fight while they were waiting in line for tickets to the Larry Pistol concert. Oh my god, Taylor Swift Ticketmaster scandal? Real? True. Corpse was a woman! <laughs> White land owning men matter. That quote was said by Roddy... St. James from Flushed Away, silly. I, okay, people talk a lot of shit about, um, about Flushed Away. I really liked Flushed Away. Um, it was a pretty good movie. Um, the, the main character may look like, um, uh, why can't I remember his name? Oh god, why can't I remember his name? The the the, the scrawny white kid that, that plays plays Spider Man and is dating Zendaya. Why can't I remember his name? I'm 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 out of it tonight. Um What's his face? The main character of Flushed Away looks like him. Uh the joke has been made before. This is nothing I am not sending McKillicuddy back out. Tom Holland, thank you. Yeah, he looks like Tom Holland. I'm going to send Vandal, and I'm going to send Kingston. Figure it out, guys. Andrew Garfield. <laughs> he actually also kind of looks like Andrew Garfield. If Andrew Garfield had better hair, then he would essentially be that, that guy from Flushed Away. The mouse from Flushed Away, yeah. I was boozing, Your Honor. All right, what do we got? Come, what the? God, today fucking sucked. Come on, guys. That's like that is over two thousand five hundred fucking police points, guys. Two thousand five hundred police experience at the scene and a paddy wagon, and they couldn't fucking keep this fight under control. Come on, guys. Man, the mayor's right. You guys need to be sent to the fucking academy. I gotta get my police slots. That was, uh, that was probably the worst day on record. We had three police officers die. We had multiple civilian casualties. Classroom horrified when failed chemistry experiment claims teacher's life. Port Union threatens strike. Farmers grow record-breaking zucchini. Yeah, I can understand why City Hall fucking hates us after that. Watch Pot Never Boils. Gay has the funny number. Officer Gay. Oh, he's got like 420? I'm suffering an extremely severe anxiety attack and can't concentrate on anything. Can I go home? Yes, but coming tomorrow. I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? Worst excuse. Worst excuse. Um... Uh...